spring 2021 haul i want to show you a few different pieces of course but also how to style them so that you can kind of think of your spring wardrobe as a little bit of a capsule wardrobe as well as pull in things that you already have in your closet for complete looks welcome back to my channel i'm z Lennox. if you're new a very warm welcome and if you're coming back again i really appreciate it make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss a video on styling fashion and how to look your best for this first look that I'm showing you, this is just an embroidered button down. I have it open here. Everything that I'm wearing is Zara. The t-shirt is vintage Zara. The pants are actually this year. They've got tears in them. They are the baggy wide leg jeans that are just so trendy right now. And actually I've been wearing these wide leg jeans now for, I wanna say about a year. I discovered them last summer at Aritzia. And I thought, I thought they were just such a refreshing, different shape than the typical very narrow ankle. So I've been loving white light jeans for a while now. Now that I'm seeing them everywhere, I'm just enjoying all the different colors and the different makes that they have. This embroidered shirt is just an instant classic. It's so pretty and light. I actually wore it to the beach the other day as just like a, a light cover up for my top so that I wouldn't get sunburned. Actually, it was yesterday. <laughs> My hair is still all salted, like, and that's why it's so huge and uncontrollable. My apologies. If you have curly, wavy hair, you probably feel my pain. I'm so excited to share these with you because I have looked high and low for a solid, I know everybody doesn't like the word dupe, but like designer inspired um, loungewear pants that are satiny, that are Gucci inspired. These are them. I feel like they have like just a great little pattern. This shirt is actually from uh, Topshop, so I'll make sure to link it. It's not from Zara, but I just thought it was just fit really perfectly. A quick note about the sizing of these. This is an extra small, and I gotta say I'm a little disappointed because they're not, I kind of wanted them to fit at my waist, but they are really wonky loose. I wonder if it's like a return and it just got like really stretched out, but just a heads up that they, like they're an extra small and I don't have like super tiny thighs and they still are pretty loose. Kind of feel it out what kind of look you want. Like if you want a super like big loungy look, I would definitely stay true to size. But if you want kind of like a snugger look, I would, I would size down. So this is the same kind of pant. I actually showed you this in the last haul, but I had a small and this is an extra small. I exchanged it because I really love them, but it just felt like a little bit like the other pants that I just showed you felt. They just felt a little big. Um, so this seems like tour to size and more of like what I was looking for, like I want it to be where I'm, I'm not wearing pajamas and just play it by ear how you want your lounge pants to fit. There's a matching top also. I'm not wearing it now because it does make it look very much like PJs. I feel like it's really important that you, if you don't want to look like too pj -y, if you do wear the matching top that you belt it or you can maybe wear like a cropped denim jacket or a blazer just to like make sure that it looks more like an outfit versus that you just kind of rolled out of bed. I really love this combination. Just added a little bit of a pop of color that's not too matchy-matchy, but also just complements the purple lavender hues. And these are actually really comfortable. I've had them for a long time and they still make them, so I'll make sure to link them below. They're just a suede pump that is that I wear all the time whenever I want to add just a little bit of a pop of color, but I don't want to commit like with my whole outfit. This is just an epic top. Um, I knew that I like just loved it when I saw these cutouts and just how flattering it is here. I got a small because I had a feeling it was gonna run small and sure enough, it is pretty small. Um, I gotta say that it just, it doesn't, it, you don't have to tuck it in. It's just a really great length here. Um, and yeah, it just shows off like your shoulders you like your shoulders and your arms, it's definitely a great top for it. It's very versatile and wearing it with the pants to give it a totally different look. These are two of my favorite pieces from the haul, actually. The first are these jeans that have the cuff bottom. They're very baggy. They have the paper bag waist and they have a lot of different dyes in them, actually. I just wanted like a very true light blue. They also have more of like a genuine medium blue. They have a washed out and also a gray, I believe. So lots of options. I was actually a little bit torn, but ultimately decided this kind of springy hue of blue. I love that they are baggy, but they're still like pretty form-fitting. These are pretty true to size. I think if you want to 
stay really snug than stay true to size. If you want to kind of have this fit, I went up a size. So I'm usually a, a zero, but I went up to a two just to give myself more space, especially along the thighs and hips. This top is just so refreshingly spring. It's got like the light stripes. It's got the fancy tie-in that's already built in. So just kind of like a little bit of a fashion statement here. It's so, so comfortable and it's not too short. So you're not showing any tummy here and it's got like perfect little fitting in the back. The only problem with this shirt, it kind of cuts you off right here. So you definitely like a little cami underneath or um, if you want to maybe do a brooch or something like that, because otherwise you are gonna be opening up to, um, to show your bra. So just wanted to give you that disclaimer in case that's um, an issue, like a deal breaker for you. So yeah, I can just picture wearing these two items in so many different ways. The jeans with almost any top, a cardigan, a chunky knit sleeveless sweater, this top with, uh, with leggings even, biker shorts. It's just so versatile, I really love it. And I'm so glad that I saw it because I actually got this one online and this at the store because I wasn't really sure that I would like the way that the jeans fit when I saw them online, but I really do. So styled it with some pumps just to give it a little bit of a date night look, but obviously sneakers and flats, belly flats, the sky's the limit. Florals for spring, groundbreaking, right? So of course this is kind of a joke, but we all need our floral dresses, of course. And it's just such a fun, it's got little tassels. It's really, really pretty. It's got that embroidered trend that's also really huge. It's very flattering with this basket weave um, kind of smocked top that the end, it's got like a lot of swing. Styling it with some easy slides as well as just a little white basket bag. If it's really well, I would definitely stay true to size for this. The variation for this dress is just to wear a sweatshirt. Mine's a little wrinkle, I'm sorry about that. And then just take it out for a totally different look. That is just a little bit of a skirt look and also a great layer, of course, because spring is so finicky one minute you're burning up and the other you're freezing. The next hero piece is another nautical item. It's a striped skirt, and I love this little tie detail. And being a skirt, I love it because you don't have to worry about showing too much. I love it with a black off the shoulder t-shirt just to have it be a little bit more dressy and show a little bit more skin. For accessories, I added a little bit of a pop of color with a mini bag, which doesn't, I can't fit much into it, but it's good enough for like a cell phone or those, you know, kidless dates that you don't have to bring a lot with you. Also added a gold necklace just to give it more, even more like a nautical, like gold and stripes. And just some white loafers. I could have done some slides or some ballet flats as well, but I just wanted to kind of keep it a little bit sporty and casual as well. The next vest I wanted to show you without a shirt underneath, and I also want to show it to you with a white button down, which is kind of how I pictured wearing it, or a white t-shirt. Um, but I think it goes really well with white denim, and it's just, I love the pop of color. Sometimes I can get overwhelmed by color, but this is kind of a great way to um, just have a nice bright look for spring and not have it overwhelm your whole outfit. It definitely runs small. I'm usually a smaller and extra small. This is a medium, and it's pretty tight, pretty snug. Again, just think of this as kind of like a corset. If you want more ideas on how to wear a corset, make sure to check out this video um, where I style it five different ways. This top is rocking out two spring 2021 trends, the cutout and the knit trend. Um, this one is just very subtle. It's right here. It's a little bit right there. And you can even tighten it a little bit more too. So if you want to show less, you can definitely squeeze it and tie it up a little higher. Styling it with white denim, just because I love the blue and white for spring, and a little bit of a pop of color bag, a little accent of gold, with gold, and just my trusty pool slides that are so comfortable, I have a hard time wearing anything else in warm weather. And I totally understand the cutout trend might not be for everybody. It definitely takes a lot of body confidence. Just remember that we are our harshest critics, and that flaws that you see on yourself, nobody else sees. When I saw this outfit, I knew I had to have it. Just sexy in a very predictable way. Like the shorts are very short. The top is pretty wholesome. It's a little tight, but it's like 
still pretty wholesome, but I just had to have it. I think it's so retro and fun and sexy. I don't think I'm gonna be running out and doing errands in this. It's just, they're a little bit too short for me, but I love wearing it at home. And just like I love wearing nice lingerie and I like wearing nice PJs and lingerie here. I was like, this is a great little outfit to wear. Or I can also wear it to like the community pool anywhere where people are wearing less to the beach, those things. I um, styled it with my Chunky Balenciaga sneakers. Oh, link some that look a lot like these um, because these are actually, um, styled it with my Chunky Balenciaga sneakers. Oh, link some that look a lot like these um, because these are actually pretty uncomfortable. I'll make sure to link some Balenciaga sneaker inspired. There's a lot of beautiful Chunky sneakers out there. You don't have to spend that much money. And hopefully they're more comfortable than these. These are not that comfortable. Um, but this is just a fun outfit. You can also just wear the top with jeans and have it look really cute or um, the bottoms with tank top, make it a little sex even sexier or just your, uh, your bikini top. And finally, I think this is one of the pieces that I've worn the most from this haul is this basic white button down short sleeve. It's very light and airy. It's a great layer. Um, I've worn it with my bathing suit underneath, I've worn it with tank tops, I've worn it just as like, um, like with a bodycon dress that just pull it over myself. It is so versatile, you will not regret it. It's just a nice light top. It's also great for Zoom too, like, you know, it looks very professional. You're sitting here and then you get up and it's just a little bit shorter. So you can make it as sexy as you're comfortable doing so. And I think it's one of those pieces that you'll return to in your closet time and time again. If you're interested in checking out more capsule wardrobe outfit ideas, make sure to check out this video where I cover seven different outfits that you can do and create using just a white top and a black skirt or a black pants. So hope you check that out. I hope you enjoyed the Zara Spring 2021 video that is really addressing some of the key trends that we're seeing this year for spring, summer 2021. Thanks again and see you soon.